Well, let me, the first question I want to ask you is, is just tell me about the community service project you guys did this semester. I know you guys do this every Christmas, but what, what exactly do you guys do? Okay, so it was a little bit different this year. Usually we work with the Salvation Army um, as a whole department at Keystone College, and we usually do what they call a giving tree. Um, so we just get a family and we provide gifts for the entire family there. But with COVID and everything, we went a different route this year and our women's basketball program teamed up with um, an organization called Friends of Jacqueline, which is for children with um, pediatric brain tumors. And it's really near and dear to my heart. Um, I worked with Friends of Jacqueline back when I was in college. When I played at Marist, we um, actually adopted um, two of the children there. And the main girl that it's named after, Jacqueline, um, she was actually one of our kids. So I know her. She's a great, great, great girl. I've watched her grow up and she's out of college now. So it's awesome. So we teamed up with them um, and we got the names of a few children around the country. Uh, a few were in California, um, a few were in Colorado, and then one was actually in Canada and we um, just made them little baskets. Um, every single kid on our team made them a basket, made them a homemade um, Christmas card and we sent that out um, last week. So um, it was just, it was really special that we could still do something with COVID and everything going on. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Like, obviously, I don't know how your team was made up. If you, some of you were on campus, some of you weren't, but how did you, how did you handle getting all this? Obviously, in a traditional year, you're all on campus and you do it, do it after practice or do it as an activity, but how did you do it this year with maybe your team being in all different, different kind of places? Right. So um, at this point, when we got the names and the addresses of everybody, we were actually all um, off campus already. So um, I just, I mean, we sent out our group text and that's how we've been communicating um, for a lot of this time. And I just asked who was interested and I figured we would have a few girls here and there um, interested in it and the whole entire team was interested in doing it. So um, we got six names and they all just did a great job. I just sent them um, a few reminders and they sent them all out and those all went out by Friday of last week. So so what kind of, if any other kind of projects you guys did, obviously with the holidays, you did this, but is there any other kind of community service projects? I know you, you guys do a lot. I think you guys went on a hike or, or something, one of the mountains in October. What are some of the other things that you guys got to do this year? Um, so one of the other community service um, events that we worked throughout the entire semester was with an organization in Scranton called the Friends of the Poor, and they team up with Parker Hill Church. Um, and they have bi-weekly uh, food donation drives. So our kids would volunteer every other Wednesday and we would go and what we did was we would pack grocery bags um, full of food donations from um, just around the Scranton area and cars would just drive up and we would pack the cars with the food. Um, and at first it's um, really overwhelming because there's over 400 cars that come through the line um, it's an all day event, but it's awesome. And I, I did it first, I started it out um, and then I shared it with the team and they just, they absolutely love doing it. So we kind of made that um, our every other uh, Wednesday thing if they didn't have class to do. Um, so that was a great event. And finally, what's the, what's obviously this has been a, a, a different year, obviously not practicing. You're not able to do the normal stuff that you're, you're doing with your team, but what's the, this, what's, what is something that's come out of this, obviously doing these projects that may have come out this year with your team that you may have not noticed in previous years? Um, I think just the willingness to do things. And um, usually every single month when it's not COVID year, um, we do a team activity. And um, I don't want to say it's mandatory, but all the kids know that they should do it. So last year we worked with the Ronald McDonald House and we would just do different events like that. Um, this year I decided to give it, give them more power, um, to do it. So if they had a special, um, organization that they wanted to get involved in other than what I was providing to them, um, they could do that. So I know like a few kids went outside of what I was suggesting and they went with a church group or, um, other things that interested them. So just their willingness to get out there and to the community. And I mean, we always preach with our team that um, it's not just about basketball, obviously, but it's about the three C's. And we always say that, and it's classroom, community, and on the court.
Um, so you can't do one without the other two. So we've just been preaching that. And I think it's just coming to fruition um, this year, especially.